Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a little bit. Well, I got a treat for you guys today. Um, got a lot of fancy stuff here for Scarlet. So I'm gonna share this with you guys, show you guys what I'm planning. Um, as you guys might've been following on Instagram and Facebook, Scarlet's uh, fabrication is done. She's looking really good. So it's only fitting that we go with, uh, you know, some electrical system for this car that's equally as nice as the way the car looks and is set up. So um, I've kind of hinted and teased a little bit on uh, my Instagram and Facebook about what's coming. But today you guys are actually going to see in depth of what I have planned. And it's a huge undertaking. This is going to be the most complicated, uh, biggest, nicest electrical uh, engine management system I've ever put in a car. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, going to be a little bit of a learning curve on the way. Um, I've never used this system before, uh, but I think I could figure it out. So let me show you guys what I'm working with here. All right, guys, here it is. The Haltech Nexus R5. Look at this thing. This thing is massive. Whew, it is a big boy. All right, so I'm going to explain to you guys you know what this is so this is actually more than just one thing um, I've got a whole host of other Haltech goodies here on the table that I'll get to in a minute but this right here is the centerpiece of the whole system so this is the Nexus R5 this is their latest and greatest um, engine management system and PDM all in one so what that means is is typically when you have a car um, you're going to have a fuse box and you're going to have fuses and tons of wires that run all the different circuits in the car, like taillights, headlights, uh, you know, wipers, you name it. Well, the cool thing about this system is, is you have one positive lead. This goes directly to the battery, comes in here with a connector, and then you have a ground. This is, that's it. That, that is all the power comes into this box here from the battery. And then from here, if you look, it has a lot of different channels, and these are different amperage rated channels. Well, this actually replaces all of the fuses, fuse box, everything, the stock stuff in the car. So everything runs through this box and is digitally controlled and programmable in the software. So all the way down to the turn signals, the headlights, the taillights, um, wipers, everything electrical in the car will go through this box now directly. Now that does a lot of things. So as you can see, all of these uh, outputs here, there's 12 of them, they're all up to eight amp rated each. So that means that each device on each channel, let's say the headlights is number one, taillights is number two, let's say wipers three, uh, you know, all these things. You can have up to eight amps of current draw through those, those or 12 channels which is more than enough to run headlights, taillights, all that stuff. Then you have the higher amperage side here. You have four of these higher amperage ones, which you can run uh, your cooling fans on your radiator, um, you know, and you could do some other stuff with this as well. So the way this works is, is this is not only an, uh, the engine management system built in, this is also uh, a PDM, which stands for power delivery module. So all that stuff I just showed you is the PDM side. But this also controls the engine and it can control a automatic transmission as well. So this is a really, really nice unit. I mean, this is really cool. This is something like that has never been out there before. Now, if you look here, you have a lot of pins there. These are all your inputs and outputs here for all your devices and whatnot. You have a USB communication, it's USB-C right there. And then what's really cool is you have a Wi-Fi antenna on this box. So this box actually has Wi-Fi as well. So we could actually wirelessly tune and data log the car from a laptop, 
uh, and we don't need a cable anymore to tune the car, which is awesome. The other cool thing is you can remote into this through the internet and tune it remotely as well, which is really cool. So if I'm having a weird software bug or glitch or something that doesn't make sense, Haltech can actually log in remotely from Australia and they can, you know, look at it and see what's going on and help me out. So this thing is, this is just badass. Like this, this, I've never seen anything like it before. I've been debating on, you know, whether I wanted to do a fuse box, you know, from scratch and a relay board and all that stuff, or just go to a PDM. And I happened to find that Haltech just recently released this uh, and it does everything. So it's an all-in-one solution, which is, you know, awesome. It's gonna make the wiring in the car simpler. It's, there's gonna be less wires, less stuff. The car is gonna be lighter overall um, because what you see on this table is all the electronics that are gonna control every single aspect of the car just right here. So I'm gonna go through some of this other stuff I got here. So what we have here is uh, these are EGTs. These are thermal couples. As you can see, I've got six of them. So we're gonna do per cylinder EGT. So we have all our EGT sensors here. We've also got dual wide bands. These are actually the NTK model. So these are compatible with methanol and these are really nice. This is a much higher quality sensor uh, wide band, but I have two of them. So we're gonna have one on each bank for the six cylinder. So we can monitor that as well. And then um, right here, this is really neat. So this is the thermal couple, um, basically amplifier is what they call this. So I'll see if I can do this one-handed. Okay. So this little guy here is sweet. So what this does, this is gonna mount in the engine bay and this has a really nice weather pack connector on this side that goes to the, this is gonna go to the Nexus from here. And then from here, you have eight available channels. So all of the thermal couples will actually plug directly into this module here. This supports up to eight cylinders. I'm only gonna be using six, but basically um, everything goes into here and then just from there, CAN bus into the Haltech, which is really cool. So we have that for the thermal couples. Now this is something I'm really excited about. So this is a CAN keypad. So what this is, is this is actually a digital uh, switch panel, if you will, but it's actually a keypad. So the cool thing about this is all of these are buttons. These are, you press these and there's three different LEDs below each one. Each one of these is assigned a function. So this is actually, um, you know, something that I've always wanted in my car, but what this is, is this will allow me to assign all of these different buttons to do different things in the car. So I can have power on by pressing that and then an LED will pop up here telling me it's power on. I can pr hold it after that and I can set it so that it cranks the engine up and starts it. I can have fan control on, off, turn signal left, right, headlight on, off, taillights. Um, I can have slipper clutch. I can do, you know, all of these can be anything I want. And it's all directly controlled through CAN bus. Got one connector on it that goes into the Nexus. And then everything is programmable via software. And there's actually three different modes per button. It's crazy what you can do with this thing. I mean, it's, it's just wild. All this stuff lights up. And then of course, you know, it comes with all of the stickers that are gonna go on the buttons when you choose, you know, what you want everything to do, which is just, it's awesome. So I'm really excited about that. All of the cars starting, stopping controls are all gonna be controlled here. So this is gonna be mounted in a central location on the dash. I'm gonna probably put it right below the gear shift indicator in the center. And then that's gonna control everything. You got one harness for this and that's it. So again, very simple yet very, uh, I guess you could say capable. You can do a lot with this. Let's see what else I got here. This box here. Oh yeah, here we go. So I'll check this out. I can pick it up, it's heavy. <laughs> 
One-handed filming and opening uh, unboxing is really fun. Oh, thanks, babe. Oh, I got my helper. Check this out. So this is the Haltech dash. So this is a full color dash. It's the LC, I think, or IC, IC7. That's right. So this right here is going to have all our gauges. It's going to have everything about the car in live data for our dash. So really cool. Um, you know, we can actually make changes to some of the uh, functions on the dash with these buttons here, but very simple. On the back, you have one connector here, one there, and that's it. So everything is is CAN bus 100%, and it's all digital. So everything is going to be just so much simpler. The car is just going to be so much easier to work on, and I'm just I'm stoked. And then so just so you guys know what I'm going to be undertaking here, I'll show you this. So this is the most intimidating part of the whole project. This is the entire wire harness that's gonna run every single electrical component in the car. That's it. It's a lot of wires. <laughs> this thing is heavy. This probably weighs I have a good 15 pounds. But as you can see, if you come in here, everything is labeled. So you have ignition switch. You know, you've got everything. This is the cabin harness. All these connectors are weather packed. They're just beautiful just awesome so ton of work is going to be i mean to do this is it's a big undertaking um you know we could just throw it in the car make it work do it real quick and just kind of but i'm not doing that i'm going to take my time i want to do this right i want it to look good i'm not gonna you know go to the level to where you know it's gonna literally make me not be able to race the car this year because i'm gonna spend three months on making a harness but it's gonna be nice we're gonna make it tidy and uh, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to this. Believe it or not, some people will be terrified of this, but I love wiring and it's really not that bad once you get into it and get a game plan and get it figured out. Um, you know, you could easily turn this into several month project, but I think we'll be able to get it pretty quick. Um, it's got a really nice bulkhead here. So this will actually go through the firewall. And it's actually already got a rubber seal and a grommet on it, which makes it super easy because there is a hole in the firewall pretty close to this size. So I'm hoping this just pops in there and saves a ton of time. Um, but yeah, so we've got a lot to do, um, but this, this system is going to change the game for the car. This is going to make the car just so much better and I can't wait. So, well, that's going to end it for this one here. Um, I got a lot of people requesting more videos and stuff. I haven't really had a lot of content, tell you the truth. Uh, you know, it's winter time, not a lot going on. And I've been working on cars here and there just one day at a time, you know, doing family stuff too. But, um, you know, we got a lot of content coming because the car's coming back from fab. So now that the car's coming back from fab, you guys are going to get to see it. You're going to, I'm going to take you in there with me and I'm going to show you how I do all this stuff and wire this car. And, uh, I've also got on the back burner the Forester. So the Forester, if you guys have been following Instagram as well, um, I've got a whole new setup in that car now. So we're gonna have some videos coming on the Forester. We've got something special coming for this season for that car that I think you guys are gonna get a kick out of. I'm really excited for it. Um, but yeah, the Forester is coming back stronger than ever. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But for now, that'll be it. Until next time, we'll see you later.